Today we have the finals round for the New York City STEM Fair. The New York City STEM Fair has been a staple of New York City for 60 years. We're delighted that the STEM Fair is here at NYU Tandon. I think it really emphasizes the point of what an important position that NYU Tandon has taken in the last few years in science across New York City, in entrepreneurship, in education, and community outreach. Science Fair is one of the tools that we use in order to promote science education across the New York State. We select the top 15 projects out of about 450 projects to go into the International Science and Engineering Fair to compete with all the projects from all over the world. We are so appreciative of the work that the team from Terra STEM is doing and so honored to be able to have all of you here as part of our Tandon family. Solving important global challenges requires a diversity of perspectives, lived experiences, and intellectual capital. So organizations like Terra STEM and NYU Tandon are nurturing a diverse new generation of STEM professionals well-equipped to tackle these challenges. My research project, it's a point cloud and IMU-based lower extremity exoskeleton that's terrain adaptive to enhance mobility. I was inspired by seeing the elderly people around me. I really want to make an exoskeleton to assist their mobility and help them feel more comfortable when navigating around and kind of navigate a more quality life. 40% of high schoolers currently experience depression and it's increased every year for the past decade. I wanted to find a relationship between music choice and mental wellness. So meaning, do we listen to specific kinds of music in a given mental state? And when we listen to specific kinds of music, do we feel a certain way? I want to propose a mental health intervention strategy. And so that includes a mental health augmentation music app. And I wanted to use music and use that data on our mental health in order to improve it. I was initially really interested in math and physics and uh, computer science, and I wanted to find a hybrid subject of all three. So I began looking into um, computing and then further quantum computing. And I found this specific type of quantum computer while reaching out to different mentors who had labs around the country. And I stumbled upon the trapped eye in quantum computing. I mentor two students, one from Brooklyn Tech and one from Stuyvesant. Both students just contacted me independently, wrote me an email and said, I'd like to work with you. I'm interested in your work. I put them together. So it was one of the few times where two students from different high schools in New York actually competed together. When I first reached out to Professor Lafer, I was just interested in getting more experience in her field of research. But I ended up meeting so many different people, people who are PhD students, graduate students, as well as high school students. And it was really fulfilling to get to talk to other people who had similar interests to me and were more experienced as well, so that if I ever needed help, I could just reach out to them. Everyone was so welcoming and open to giving new ideas at these weekly meetings and I learned a lot and had a lot of suggestions from the undergrad students and other research students. Really excited to be here and present my research. This is the first time I've ever been to any science fair and I've worked on this project for so long so I'm really excited that I'm able to get here and see everyone else's projects too. We're really excited to see the continued work that teachers and mentors are doing throughout the city, as well as these students. And we're glad to be that platform where students can have a chance to talk to professionals and present their research. Students, thank you for bringing your incredible ideas and ambition to this event. The world needs your perspective, your commitment to learning, and your determination to improve society. I can't tell you how impressed I am by your work and your willingness to address complex issues like mitigating local flooding and treating Alzheimer's diseases. Here at Tandon, we're celebrating 170 years of engineering and all the ways that Tandon engineers have influenced the world throughout history. But what's even more exciting than looking back is seeing where we're headed and how much potential is out there. And when I consider the world being done by students like those exhibiting today, I know the future is very bright.